After Venom, Let There Be Carnage, is Venom's universe going to officially be somehow merging with the MCU due to whatever happens in Spider-Man No Way Home? That's what many people believe, but we still don't really know what approach they're ultimately going to take and how everything that happens in Spider-Man No Way Home could affect the bigger Venomverse. Now the director, Andy Serkis, has an interesting update where he talks about the multiverse and much more. So no matter what happens going forward, I think it's very evident just by looking at it at face value that when we get Spider-Man over in the Venomverse or however they handle it, it will be Tom Holland. Now, whether it's the exact same MCU version or a slightly different adjacent version, as Sony has put it before, or just a completely new version of the character played by Tom Holland remains to be seen. Now, of course, moving forward, we gotta wait for a few movies to come out. Not only Venom Let There Be Carnage, but also we gotta wait for Spider-Man No Way Home, we gotta wait for Morbius, and most importantly, I think, Multiverse of Madness, because that's the one that's going to explore the biggest effects and, I guess, connective tissue of the entire multiverse. So recently, Andy Serkis talked a little bit about bringing together these universes. And what he said was, if you look at what they've built, there is the Venomverse. And that, of course, would be Venom, Venom Let There Be Carnage, what they're doing with Morbius, and so forth. And then he mentions that there's also the Spider-Verse on film. And that, of course, consists of the MCU films and how all that's going to come together in Spider-Man No Way Home. But then he says that if you look at the mythology, if you look at everything that's canon, and if you look at what they can do, the multiverse and all this allows you to go forward in time, but also laterally in time. Laterally in time is the big one for me, because that means you can sidestep and do the same thing elsewhere. Meaning that you could literally explain that Peter's identity getting revealed has two different outcomes in the multiverse. One where he's affected and faces Venom, one where he doesn't. So... That's kind of an interesting take on it, which I think they will explore going forward and once new contracts are hashed out. And also the fact that he confirms these Spider-Verse crossovers and he says, you know, the Spider-Verse will cross over with the Venom-Verse. Well, there you go. That's all you need to know. I think they're leaving the story open for any possibility. And there's been plenty of rumors that maybe Venom is from the Amazing Spider-Man universe, but he'll cross over laterally as they say, into the MCU, and then maybe backwards, so you can have everything. And who really knows what the future holds? I mean, it's certainly possible that we could get everything we want and more. For all we know, we could get a completely different retelling of Spider-Man's origin from the MCU, retold in the Venomverse, but it's the same actor. And that would be wild, but nothing's preventing them from doing it.